Hoy fue el día más caliente de toda la semana. ¿Cómo lo dirían? Uh -huh. Hoy, es como se dice hoy. Ajá. Hoy fue el día más... Today. Today. Ah, fue el verbo en pasado. Hoy fue... Uh, this okay. was... El pasado, no. quitarle el is, porque is es presente, solo deja was. Today was. Wow. Vaya. ¿Y wow. cómo diría? Va, ¿Cómo se dice caliente? Hot. Hot. Yeah, muy bien, pero Hot. como ahora yo uh -huh. quiero el, el más caliente es, ahí se lo voy a mandar al chat. Hottest. 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 Ah, hottest. 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 O sea, por ejemplo, today was the hottest day. Ahí se lo mandé al chat. Hottest, que es un adjetivo. Hot es caliente, pero para decir más caliente, como decir nombre, hoy fue el día más caliente. Today was the hottest. Today was the hottest day. Ok, so, apréndanselo ahí, the hottest. Aunque eso obviamente lo vamos a ver en esos días que estamos viendo los adjetivos, ¿verdad? Pero the hottest, el día más caliente. Today was the hottest day. Ok, my dearest students, welcome to your English class. So, look at, I got one, two, three, four, five questions. Yo soy alta, pero mi hermana es pequeña. El cocodrilo es un reptil y el panda es un mamífero. San Salvador, San Salvador es una ciudad ruidosa, pero Paneca es una ciudad tranquila. Mi carro es nuevo y el de mi hermano es viejo. Inglés es fácil, pero matemáticas es difícil. Si usted se fija en cada oración, I have an adjective. Por ejemplo, alta, pequeña. El cocodrilo es un reptil, mamífero. Ruidosa, tranquila. Nuevo, viejo. Fácil, difícil. So, look at the first question. Well, it's not a question. It's a sentence. Yo soy alta, pero mi hermana es pequeña. I need a volunteer. Antes de pasar con el speaking time, les traigo ahí un tiempo de conversación. Pero sí necesito ver un poquito eso. Ok. Volunteer. Yo soy alta, pero mi hermana es pequeña. Five. I don't know. Ok, um, ya aquí, let's try. Vamos a tratar. I am, I am, five, I am tall, uh -huh. but my sister but, is small. Ok, vamos a ver cuál es la diferencia entre small y short. ¿Cuál es? Hola, Juan. Si gusta, me avisa si puede participar, ok? No se preocupe. Si no, join the class as a listener, ok? Thank you so much. Okay, teacher, what's the difference between a small and short? Do you have the idea? What's the difference between short and a small? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I am, I am told, oh yes, both have the same meaning. Yes, both have the same meaning. I am told by my sister is short. Number one, we use short for people. This is number one. We use shore for people. We use a small for animals and objects. For example, my t-shirt is a small. ¿Y qué talla sos? A small. No digo short. Ah, ya entendí, teacher. O sea que en este caso, small es para animales. Puedo decir incluso objetos. Puedo decir en este caso, eh, eh, animales, objetos, o sea, el tamaño de algo. Por ejemplo, mi camisa es small. Exacto. Pero cuando se refiere a personas, es short. Short, pequeño, una persona pequeña. Por ahí en el, en el transcurso de la vida, usted o se va a encontrar que hay gente que dice, my sister is small. Sí aplica, pero lo correcto es el adjetivo para personas es short. Teacher, y si yo quiero decir, mi perro es alto, pero el tuyo es pequeño, my dog is tall, but your dog is small. Porque es un objeto prácticamente, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Como en español nosotros decimos la mesa, la cama, la silla. Pero en inglés nosotros tenemos la mala costumbre que decimos la Jennifer, la Mónica. La Jacqueline. No, cuando son personas, el la no existe porque el la, según la rea, es solamente para objetos y animales. Lo mismo acá. No es rea, pero es gramática en inglés. Y en este caso, short es para people. Small es para animals and objects. Volunteer number two. El cocodrilo es un reptil y el panda es un mamífero. 
Teacher, yes, ¿cómo se dice mamífero en, en inglés? Mamado. Mamado, ok. Yes. Volunteer. El cocodrilo es un reptil. Yes, Nati, go ahead. The cocodrilo is a reptil and the panda is, is how do you say mamífero? Mama. 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 Exactly, yes, look at the crocodile is a reptile and the panda is a mammal. Mamífero, mama, reptil. No cambia, solo cambia la pronunciación. Reptile, reptile. Español, reptil. Inglés, reptile, reptile. Mamífero, mammal. Excellent. Number three. Solo son cinco ejercicios, de ahí paso con el speaking time. So, San Salvador es una ciudad ruidosa, pero Apaneca es una ciudad Tranquila. Volunteer. Five, four, three, two, no one. Really? Yeah. Okay, yes, Ati, please go ahead. Okay, San Salvador is a noise city, but Apaneca is a quiet city. Okay, let's see. Podemos en este caso. Podemos, San Apaneca is a quiet. Okay, se me olvidó decir. San Salvador is a noisy. It's a noisy city, but, pero, Apaneca is quiet. O Apaneca is a quiet city. Excellent. Mi carro es nuevo y el de mi hermano es viejo. Paola, yeah. thank you. Uh, my car uh, is new and my brother is old. Okay, let's see. My car is new and my brother's car is old. Old, excellent. Antiguo. Old puede ser antiguo o viejo. También está la palabra antic. Antic, que también significa algo antiguo también, como es una reliquia. Por ejemplo, eh, Santana es una reliquia o la iglesia de Santana es una reliquia. Santana's short is, a rel is an antic o is a relic. O sea, cuando algo también es antiguo, pero que es historia. Number five. Inglés es fácil. Pero matemáticas es difícil. Volunteer. Yes, Mónica, go ahead. Say, I said, Mónica, no, no, no. I get confused. Volunteer, yes, fine. Okay, yes. please. Yes, okay. Yes. English is easy, but math is difficult. Okay, let's see. English is easy, but math, o maremati, ¿verdad? Se puede decir de las dos. Math is difficult. So, an equation, guys, five, four, three, two, one. For the, uh, this coming week, for the, this coming week, we are going to learn how to compare, for example, ¿cómo, de, cómo decir? Vamos a aprender la próxima semana. ¿Cómo decir? Apaneca es más helado que San Miguel, es un ejemplo que les estoy dando. Vamos a aprender a decir, inglés es más fácil que el lenguaje. Aquí solo estoy diciendo, inglés es fácil, pero matemáticas es difícil. Pero vamos a aprender en este caso los adjetivos en comparativo, comparativo, como por decir en este caso, vivir en Europa es mejor que vivir en Sudamérica. Ok, eso vamos para la siguiente semana, pero ahora bien, my objective for this exercise is to identify, identify the adjectives in the sentences. For example, look at the adjectives. I got tall, short, reptile, mammal, noisy, quiet, new, old, easy, difficult. So everything is clear, five, four, three, two, everything is clear. One. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now look at, I got three equations and I got a video related with the, with the equations. So could you please, Israel, can you please help me to read from equation one to equation number three? Thank you. Yes. First, which one of the cities is your favorite and why? Second, how often do you go out and switch off? And third, could you recommend to all of us a good place to visit in the in El Salvador and why? Perfect, thank you. Really nice. So, which 
one of the city is your favorite and why but please i got a video we are going to see different kind of cities around the world you are going to choose your favorite and you are going to explain why do you choose that city i mean why do you like it why do you say teacher i like this city because this is related with the question number one question number two is personal how often do you go out never teacher no hombre invent how often do you go out and switch off hey do you remember what does it mean switch off five four three two one switch off ¿Qué significa switch off cuando usted en este caso dice me voy a desconectar del mundo. ¿Cómo, se descon ¿Cómo nos desconectamos del mundo? I'm going to listen to music in my room. I'm going to the park because I feel stress. I'm going to have a cup of coffee and I would like to read my favorite book. I don't want to see no one, please. I just... I just stay in my bedroom watching television, watching my favorite city, and I don't want to see no one, please. Don't bother me. That means switch off. It is it clear or not? Yes, it is it clear? Switch yes, off? Clear. For example, if I ask to you, hey, how often do you switch off? <gasps> Never, teacher. I don't have time to switch off. I have family, I have kids, I study at the university, I go to school, so I don't have time to switch off. Or maybe you say, well, teacher, I try. Yo trato de desconectarme del mundo, teacher. I try to switch off one or two times in a week. For example, I try to switch off on Sundays. I like to spend time with my, by myself or with myself teacher okay so that means switch off so number three could you recommend to all of us a good place to visit in el salvador can be a restaurant can be your favorite park can be your favorite town can be your favorite city so could you recommend all of us a good place to visit in el salvador so any equation five four three two and one okay look at Teacher, I yes. have a question. Please. <laughs> uh, log on and log off is similar. Switch off? Mm, yes, but this is switch off is not literal. Switch off is switch off is an expression. It's not literal, okay? But oh. log in and log off is when you are going to connect in or connect off in your computer. But switch off, it's an expression. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's an Thanks. idiom too. Yes, it's an idiom. It's a verb too. Yes, Bao. Y la primera pregunta, este, se refiere a ciudades de otros países. Yes, for example, look at my look at my screen. Okay. You are going to see. You are excuse me. You are going to watch a video related with equation number one. Okay, no worries, no worries, because the video is related with equation number one. So. Another question. Is everything clear? Five, four, three, two. Okay, guys. So look at. I got a video, and you are going to enjoy it because we are going to see one of the most famous cities around the world. Okay, please, guys, pay attention and be ready with question one. Today we're going to describe places. Traveling is cool, isn't it? What place would you like to visit? Well, for sure you want to visit a beautiful and lively place. Let me show you two of the most visited places in the world. Personally, I like them, even though they are pretty different. I'll start with Tokyo. Tokyo is one of the world's largest cities with an eclectic mix of very traditional and contemporary attractions. It's a non-stop city of exciting contrasts, famous for being a rush and pretty crowded place, also known for its beautiful temples, vintage tea houses, and extremely beautiful gardens. The second place is Bariloche in Argentina. 
It is a place with an outstanding scenery, from snowy peaks during winter months to crystal clear waters in spring. It's one of the most breathtaking places in the country. There are really incredible views, lakes, meltwater rivers, and huge mountains. You can feel the fresh air and the light with the amazing landscapes that change radically each and every season. Did you like Tokyo and Bariloche? I know you have a favorite place too, for sure. But let's check the vocabulary we use to describe them. Traditional Contemporary Contrasting Non-stop Rush Crowded Huge Snowy Peaceful Fresh Breathtaking Now it's your turn to practice. For example, what adjectives would you use to describe these places? Think for a moment. It is a very colorful place. What else can we say? It looks like a pretty peaceful spot. Any other description? Oh yes, it is extremely calm. Let's try another place. Look at the adjectives for this picture. It is a very colorful place. Colorful means that has different colors in it. It looks like a pretty peaceful spot. And synonym or a spot is picture. It looks like a pretty peaceful picture. In other words, say a spot. Pretty peaceful. It's like a, when you feel comfortable in that place, when you feel relaxing in that place, when you feel peace in that place. And it is extremely calm when it's okay. For example, I said, um, let's see, El Pital, it's a calm town because it's very extremely quiet. You can feel totally relaxing there. That is calm. Wow, it is a really wonderful view. Definitely, it is not a crowded place, right? This place is absolutely fresh and breathtaking. Now, do the following. Okay, look at this one. It is a really wonderful view. View is paisaje. It is a really wonderful view. For example, teacher, el pital has, tiene, el pital has a really wonderful view. Teacher, if you go to Monte Cristo Park, you are going to see it is a very, really wonderful. It has a very, really wonderful view, teacher. It is not crowd. Crowd. What is the what is crowd? Cuando hay, está lleno, full. Lleno en este caso. Por ejemplo, yo puedo decir crowd of people. Lleno de gente. Crowd of people. Crowd place. Cuando digo que un lugar es lleno. Aunque this is the opposite. Look at the place. It is not. This is the opposite. It is not a crowd place. It's like a if you go to San, if you go to San Salvador City. It is always crowd of people. But if you go to El Pital, for example, it is not a crowd place. Maybe on vacation, yes, but in a regular time, it is not a crowd of place. This place is absolutely fresh. Fresh is like a cool. This place is absolutely fresh and breathtaking. When you... Ay, ¿verdad? Cuando respiramos en breathtaking. Now, do the following two pictures by your own. But I will give you the options and you choose the sentences that best describe the images. Okay, Laura, you first. The options are A, B, C, 
be? Um, in this case, look at the picture first. Africa is wild and dry. Letter B. Africa is hot and amazing. Letter C. Africa is very expensive and crowded. Letter D. Africa is not tourist and colorful. If you choose one option, what can be the perfect one? Volunteer A, B, C, or D? I think it's B. Okay, B. B. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's see. A, Africa is wild and dry. What is and B, uh -huh. Africa is hot and amazing. Very good. We got two options. What is wild? Wild. What is wild? It's an adjective that means means exactly teacher but wild yes because remember in africa there are many many wild animals for example an example or a wild animals mm -hmm. the lions the, the lion. lion okay lions what else the giraffes giraffes what else Horses. exactly okay and what is dry it means that no rainy, dry, no rainy, no rainy days. Africa is hot like today. <laughs> today was the hottest day. So Africa is hot, like, like a sunny, but extremely, okay? And amazing. What is amazing when you say, my goodness, I love this place. Wow, looks amazing. It like a, looks nice. Samuel. Now is your turn. Yeah. Select the two sentences that best match the image. The options are A, B, C, e, D. Teacher A. This. The city in the picture is cosmopolitan and expensive. Cosmopolitan is like a fancy. Is like a famous. Letter B. This city is huge and fairly polluted. Letter C. It is somewhat vintage and extremely cold. Letter D. It is not a modern and lively city. A, B, C, or D? A. Okay. A? Just A? And B. Okay, A and B, let's see. The city in the picture is cosmopolitan and expensive. And B, the city is huge Good. and fairly polluted. Excellent! After this, where would you like to go? Think about some places you would like to travel to and try to describe them. Share the information with your partners and teacher. See you next time. Yes, Bye. thank you. Really nice video. Okay, guys, I'm going to start with the speaking time. So, question number one Which one of the cities? I mean, in this case, you have just the option that you already you already watched in the video. Don't invent. Teacher, my favorite city is Toronto. No, just think about the video according to your own. Teacher, I don't like no one, okay? Just please invent. It's not necessary to say the truth. Please remember that. So, which one of the city is your favorite and why? I'm gonna start in this case. Uh, let me see if I got a volunteer. Or may I choose by myself in order? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm gonna choose in order. Let's see, Jessica, could you please turn on your audio? And please, Stephanie, be ready, you are the second. So, Jessica, I'm, uh, you are going to have just 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Which one of the city is your favorite and why? Cities can be El Pital? No, the cities that you already see it in the video. Oh, um, I forgot the names of the cities that I saw in the video. Really? You're, okay, just please invent. Okay, in general, invent. But don't, uh, but, yes, please. Okay, if you, but for the question one, don't mention places in El Salvador because look at number three. 
Look at my question three. Could you recommend to our group place to visit in San Salvador? So for question number one, choose a city out of the country. Stephanie, nos preparamos. Okay. Um, I think uh, my favorite city is um, El Pital. Can be. Yeah. No. I think it's, look at question no. three. Yes. Look at. Porque en la pregunta tres ah, podría preguntar ahora eso. Ah, ahora of the of the of the. Out of the, of the city. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, okay. Excellent. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I well, I'm gonna say that my favorite city I think is um in in Panama. I think is Machu Picchu because. Perú. Ah, Peru, oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> Peru, Machu Picchu. <laughs> I, I always uh, uh, get wrong with that. With no the city. I think Machu Picchu is my favorite city because uh, the views are very, very beautiful. It, that was like the most peaceful uh, place that I ever see. And I, because it's my the favorite place of my mother, and so I want to visit there because it's like bring me good memories with my mom. So I think that's my favorite city because it's bring me very special moments in my in my life. Okay, yes, excellent. Thank you. Remember, guys, you are going to have twenty seconds. Okay, excellent. Good job, Jessica. Thank you. Let's see, Stephanie. What about you? According to question number one. And then please be ready, Fabiola. Thank you, Stephanie. Five, four, three, two, one. Let me know, please, if you got some problem with your internet or let me know if you're sick, okay? Thank you, Stephanie. Fabi, please, ready? Mm, yes. I okay, guess. and please, nice. Okay, Israel, be ready with question one. What about you, Fabi? Okay, my favorite, one of my favorite city is New York because uh, this is my dream to visit and I'm going to visit my, with my family on Christmas and I want to go for, enjoy with my family and friends on December and special because I like so snow and I want to meet and touch the snow. And I like about famous is the very, Exciting famous because it's the common city for to visit and to the take a movie for famous and that's all. <laughs> okay, <laughs> excellent. Time. Thank you. Perfect. Be ready with question number two. Israel, what about you, please? Question one. Jackie, be ready. Yes, uh, my favorite city is New York because it's a very famous city and I think it's so expensive. Uh, the views of the sports car are amazing and it's bigger. Okay, good, excellent. Thank you, Israel. So Jackie, what about you? Please, Harris, be ready. Okay, uh, my favorite food place is Japan. Um, I like it because it is, it is big. Um, it has a lot of the technology. Uh, there are artists that or country does not have. There is a very inter intercity. Um, to to you to uh, to go to to that country. Okay, thank you so much, Jackie. Japan, excellent. Yes, mm -hmm. it is one of my favorite cities too. Thank you, Jackie. Harris, what about you? I know, Harris, uh, would you like to go to New York, right? But is there another city that you like it out the country? Be ready, Jennifer Ramirez. Yes, um, the other country is Madrid or Barcelona. Um, because I like the culture i like the place to visit mm -hmm. and i i would like to visit if i have the opportunity to travel i would like to visit the stadium the stadium excellent thank you thank you harris jennifer what about you nati please be ready uh, uh... My favorite city 
maybe it's Bariloche. I will love mm -hmm. to Argentina. know or visit. Yes, in Argentina, visit someday uh, this city because I think it's a peaceful city, and I can switch off in in that place. I think in the city they have a beautiful views mm -hmm. and a lot of mountains and trees and probably they have a good weather or not not hotter weather mm -hmm. uh, I, I don't know uh between cold and hot i don't know but good weather okay uh, hey. one of the things jennifer that i don't like about bariloche is there is a there is a cat park by there so if you have the opportunity to go to Bariloche, my goodness, the Bariloche is a really nice city. It's very quiet and also luxury is looks antique, but the problem is the park. There is a park there. No, not there. There is a park next to and my goodness, the the smell is oh. disgusting. Yes. Oh but it's God. just it's just for it's popular because it's a cat park. It's just for cats. Yeah. Wow. But the smell is disgusting. Excuse me? You already visited this. Yes, I had the opportunity to go there. I had the opportunity to went on 2006. Oh, many, many years ago. Yes, looks nice, luxury. There are many coffee restaurants. Uh, the food is not expensive. Uh, it's, it's a very, uh, it's a very safely city. But the problem is the the park there. Yes, the tour as a tourist, I don't like it. I don't like. It. Yes, the Bariloche is good, but the problem is the cat park. Yeah, but it's oh, good. It's nice. Yes, yes, of course. Nice. If you had the opportunity, go. Yes. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you. Let's see, Nati, please, and then be ready, Paola Soriano. Oops. Thank you, Nati. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Let's see. I don't see her. Let's see. Maybe she got some problem. Okay, Paolita, please, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Always teacher. So, Rachel, please be ready. Go ahead, Paola. Okay. My favorite city is New York. It is a city that I want to get to know because it is a very popular city. It has many places to visit. Mm -hmm. It also has many restaurant options. I would like to visit it with my family. There is a famous, there is a, well, there are many famous restaurants in, in New York, but there is a famous restaurant because they like to help uh, shelters, dog shelters. So, hay un restaurante que ayuda a los perros callejeros, perros del perrito de la calle. So, there is a specific day that all the money that they get on that, on that day, are for the shelter dogs. Son para los perritos de la calle. It is a, it's a, it's a pizza restaurant. Yes, it is a pizza restaurant. I, I got the scent. Yes, thank you, Paulita. Really nice. Okay, let's see. I said, I said, okay. I woke up Nati. Creo que tuviste problemas de interview, Nati. Okay, Rachel, let's see. I got a message. Let's see. Okay, no, no worries, Nati. No worries. So, Rachel, ready? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Miss Campos, five. Four, three, two. Teacher, I'm, I'm busy. eating. Uh, I'm uh -huh. eating, teacher. <laughs> no, I'm busy. Uh, I'm my homework. Okay, but please always let me know, okay? Let me know, okay? Teacher, I'm doing, uh, I'm, I'm going to join the class as a listener. Okay, excellent. Hey, say to your brother, I want to talk with him, okay? Please say to him, no, no, now, okay? Later. Thank you, Rachel. Let's see. Okay, Nati, yes, please. Ready or not? Yes, teacher. Perfect. So, so. Excellent. No worry. Okay, no. So, Nati, please be ready. And then, Veronica. Okay, Nati, which one of the cities is your favorite and why? Yes, teacher. Uh, my favorite city is Tokyo. Uh, it's a city very, so beautiful. And he has a cherry tree. 
Ajá. Um, teacher, ay, nervoso. My goodness. Tokyo City. Good city. Ajá. Okay, so, that, okay, okay, thank you, Nati. Okay, don't get nervous. My goodness, this is not your first time. Okay, no worries. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tati. Please, Berito, are you ready? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Always, teacher. Ah, no, excuse me, yes, excuse me, Berito. Let me see. My goodness, señores, miren, me mandan mensajes. Háganme un favor, vaya, miren, voy a hacer un paréntesis. Háganme un favor. Cuando usted esté ocupado haciendo tareas, que fíjese que estoy aquí, que fíjese que mi, mándenme el mensaje antes de la clase, porque de repente a mí ya estando en clase me emociono y a mí se me olvida que usted me ha mandado mensaje. Lo que me encanta es que ingresan y están ahí, teacher, pero aquí estoy, como el, en este caso, pero mándenme el mensaje antes de la clase, porque si no a la teacher se le olvida. Ok, Jennifer, I'm, excuse me, Jenny, I'm going to conclude with you. Ready? Yes, sir. Excellent. Thank you, Jenny. Please. And, and then, guys, I'm going to conclude the class with equation number two. But for the equation number two, guys, I'm going to have a little discussion with you, okay? So please be ready because this is a speaking time, okay? So, Jenny, question one, please give us your opinion. Um, my favorite city is Quito, Ecuador. Because it has very beautiful landscape, mm -hmm. it also has many places that one um, can visit, and they have a very um, different, say, uh, different, different uh, food. For example, a steak and co cocktail. Mm -hmm. Finish. <laughs> Okay, hey, Ecuador, I remember I saw some videos uh, during the pandemic. My goodness, looks like a movie. I remember Ecuador has, well, I think not just Ecuador, but I remember that I saw some videos about Ecuador during the pandemic. It looks like a horror movie. My goodness, people, what's, what's very, very, uh, uh, um, a, catch my attention, but, what's really crowded too yes in in in, in harris yes in harris thank you so much jenny okay so my dearest students the next dynamic and the final is as a volunteer you are going to tell me how often do you go out and switch off and then when you give us your opinion it's your option if you want to leave the class or if you want to continue listening to your partner so i'm going to start as a volunteers Excellent. Thank you, Jackie. Go ahead. How often do you go out and switch off? My in my case, I don't go, I don't go to go much to places in the mm -hmm. country. But when I go, I always like to the mountain. I try not to go look my cell phone. Uh -huh. And I have a coffee. <laughs> do you um, prefer, do you prefer, for example, I know you love coffee. You are a coffee lover. But okay. do you prefer to have a coffee alone? Or do you prefer to have a coffee with friends and family? No, my alone. Alone? Prefer alone, yes. Why? Uh, because I format that side to relax um be out to be out of the or normally mm -hmm. or de lo normal. yes don't speak spanish yes you're oh, okay. doing good uh -huh. yes okay uh -huh. okay thank you jackie if you want you can leave the class and, and be ready for the hey tomorrow we got our first laboratory okay remember tomorrow we are going to have our first laboratory laboratory number one thank you jackie okay. really nice okay paola question number two and then please be ready jennifer ramirez okay and in my case 
days I, I disconnect when I go to mountain or place where there is a tranquility, such a park or Cerro Verde or El Pital. Okay. So be careful. Desconect. Sí, eh, no. No, ah, no, cómo no, cómo no. Un poquito ah, por okay. favor, pero se te entendió. Eh, okay. Dijiste una palabra. Ay, tranquilamente. Ay, no sé qué palabra dice, me olvidó. Pero el, no. Exacto. El, el adjetivo es quiet. Ah, ok. Quiet, exactly. Quiet. Thank you, Paola. Good night. Be ready for the laboratory. Good night, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Jennifer, and then please be ready, Fabiola. Ok, Jennifer, go ahead. Ok. Uh, I don't think that I switch off, but probably when I disconnect, kind of disconnect, maybe when I go to the park with my dog, or I go to the Bicentenario too. And it's a calm and quiet park. And I think um, that's a type of switch off. Mm -hmm. And probably when I go to the beach with my family uh, or when I inside the, the sea or the waves, mm -hmm. I think it's a, a kind of switch off. Yes, and be careful, guys, because it's necessary to switch off. It's necessary. Thank you, Jennifer. Yeah. Be ready for tomorrow, okay? Okay. Good night, Fabi. Please, go ahead, uh, Fabi. Okay, um, my case is similar to Jennifer. I think I do have to switch off, but my when I disconnect is when I, I have to go back in my home and I can play with my I don't remember sobrino, daughter, no, daughter. nephew, nephew, Nef daughter, thank you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. When I play and I play to start, when I play to start with my nephew and switch off, maybe when a weekend I am going, when I will go to the beach or the shorts or to spend time with my friends, um, this is the case, and they can offer me. Okay, good. Really nice. Thank you, Fabi. Be ready for the laboratory, okay? Thank you. Let's Thank you. see. Excellent. Volunteer. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, I'm going to choose by myself. Thank you, Israel. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, well, I try to get terminals to switch up in different places. It depends of the day. For example, Saturday is when I go to the Bicentenario or another park. Mm -hmm. I like to use my headphones and listen to music to relax my mind or, I don't know, play with my brother, play soccer, and use the bicycle. Excellent. Good. Really nice. Thank you, Israel. Thanks. Okay. Be ready for tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna choose. Let's see. Berita is busy. Nati, Nati is busy too. Rachel, so Nati, ready? Oops. Thank you, Nati. Five, four, three, two. Okay, excellent. And then please be ready, Harris. Okay, Nati, go ahead. I don't. I don't know often go out um i try in and... i know <laughs> you have to you have two kids yes <laughs> a family uh, i try and go <laughs> i try and go um at park uh, at church uh eat a uh, restaurant but is how do you say raro it's weird it's weird excuse me it's weird it's weird i i i go um, i travel um <laughs> how do you say ocupado Dice. busy Dice, yo siempre estoy ocupada. I always busy. 
I always visit teachers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please. You have to continue practicing, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, nice. Excellent. Thank you. Be ready for tomorrow, Nati. Thank you. Harris, I'm going to conclude with you, please. Thank you. I switch off um, all the all the afternoons then of, of of the school because I am tired. Um, I feel yes, I feel tired. But you're young. How old are you? Sixteen um, or seventeen? My goodness, you're young. You don't practice sports. Sometimes. Sometimes, how often? Yes, so um, three times in the week. It is your switch off? Mm, yes. Okay, thank you. That's all? Yes. <laughs> thank you so much, Harris. And thank thanks to all of you guys. Hey, don't forget, please. Tomorrow is our first laboratory. I will send the link at 9 p.m. I promise. I promise. This is a promise. So, people, have a really good night and please be ready for tomorrow. Bye. Juan, get well soon, okay? Recupérese pronto. Bye, people. Thank you, teacher. Good, good night.